The coolest thing about my job is to discover new things and to find a cure for degenerative diseases. My research focuses on studying the function of stem cells. Many of our organs, uh, such as the brain and skeletal muscle, have this remarkable capacity to regenerate. What happens is that this regeneration requires stem cells, and these stem cells are required throughout life. What we're finding is that during aging and many types of degenerative diseases such as muscular dystrophies, myopathies, or neuromuscular disorders, um, these stem cells are, are being lost over time. And so what we're trying to do is find a way to understand why we're losing these stem cells and how we can keep them. And what we found is that mitochondria, which are these remarkable organelles in the cell that generate all the energy that the cell requires to survive, uh, these organelles become dysfunctional during aging and during degenerative diseases. And what we're trying to do is find a way to keep them functional so that we can keep our stem cells and that we can continue regenerating our tissue. When people hear that we do research, there's this perception out there that uh, we're holed up in the lab every day, all day, and that's all we do. And in fact, that's very far from the truth. We get to travel all over the world to conferences, give talks, meet with different people. So we're constantly on the go. So for example, just two weeks ago, I got this really remarkable opportunity to participate in the Science Meets Parliament initiative, where Dr. Mona Nimmer, who is the chief scientific advisor to the Prime Minister, just, uh, Justin Trudeau, invited uh, Canada research chairs to take part in this initiative. My biggest challenge would be making it this far. Um, science is so much fun, I can't reiterate how much fun it is, but there's a lot of challenges and there's a lot of failures. And so, you know, experiments don't work sometimes, but that's okay for them to not work. We have to just have the proper mindset to look at everything in a positive direction, to be persistent and patient, and learn from the mistakes and learn uh, what the science is telling us, because sometimes our hypothesis is wrong, and it doesn't mean that we're on completely the wrong path. We just need to adjust and be flexible flexible and rethink um, our, our path or the experiment that we're doing. What motivates me and inspires me most about what I do is that one day I'll make a difference, that the work that we're doing now will one day, whether it's in five or ten years or even further, will really contribute to making a difference to people's everyday lives. My advice to girls who want to study biology is just go for it. If this is something that you're interested in, if this is a passion of yours, don't let anyone tell you that it's not possible because you can make a difference.